Hey guys, so this is part three about my DIY filter, and basically, first you gotta watch part one about how you how I built it, and part two about the pricing and all that things and all those things, and then look at this one. And during this video, I'm just gonna talk about like improvements that I could have done, like ways I could have done made this better and everything. So um, obviously, the first way I could have made this better, I think, is instead of having the pump on the outside um, down there and like pumping water through here with pressure. I would have gotten like a sm slightly smaller pump or somehow gotten like a bigger box and had it like an actual canister filter so I wouldn't have to have the pump in there. Like it wouldn't and it, it would just be fed by gravity coming down and then as it came up and stuff through pressure then the pump would uh, uh, pump it out you know back into the tank. So I mean I think that's like the first improvement because then it, it takes things out of the tank and it, it just looks a lot better. And also, I mean, I don't know if you can see here, but I, I used so much silicone for this. Like, I used a lot of it, and it doesn't look very, very nice at all. And, I mean, it, that's not that big a deal um, to some people, but, like, to me, I don't really like it. It's not very appealing. So, I mean, I, I like it how it's, like, hidden kind of by the side at least, but I still want to, um, like, I would have done it better. Like, I would have used less silicone and then done it, like, over several days maybe even like a week like you put a little bit on Monday and then um you let it sit for a day and then on Tuesday you put a little bit more and then I wouldn't ended up having less but just you know just keep checking it to see where the the water's coming out and where it's leaking and then you just put a little bit there but um that would have looked better and then also just for for the sake of having if you know having to clean the filter not gluing down the tubes to it I decided to do that because after I had tried it it wasn't leaking then but after um after I hooked it up to the actual fish tank it was leaking from the tubes because when I had put the tubes in the second time I had pushed some of the silicone away so it's just like whatever I'll just seal it back up seal the whole thing together so that's gonna kinda be a pain when I have to clean it so that's not very cool but then um other improvements are just using different containers, bigger containers, a better pump, things like that. I mean, you can really manipulate this to make it for, um, you know, something bigger than just a 20-gallon. But um, that's pretty much all the improvements I can think of right now. And if I have anything else, um, I'll just edit this video. But thank you very much for watching this whole series. And hope you like all these videos. Please rate and comment. And thank you. Goodbye.